G'day guys and welcome back to the Caterpillar Wealth Market Update. Once again we've got Andrew Chambers, Portfolio Manager at Martin Curry and Affiliate of Leg Mason. Andrew, um, what, what are real assets and, and which areas in particular of real assets are you, are you liking at the moment? Yeah, so real assets are the assets that we use every day such as infrastructure, utilities and property. Very much driven by population growth, uh, inflation rather than economic growth. Non-discretionary in nature. Okay, so they, uh, and they could be different kinds of property, not just houses, so that could be... Yeah, um, exactly. So we're focused on listed real assets, which predominantly is, say, things like shopping malls, office buildings, industrial sheds, childcare centres and the like. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so within the real asset space, the areas that, that we find quite attractive um, tends to be things like the, the toll road groups. Um, we still see uh, them as very well positioned. Um, we also like some of the rail opportunities. Uh, in the REIT space we quite like the retail malls because they've lagged and whilst they've got some challenges with online we think it's more than priced in. Okay. Uh, and in the utility space we tend to prefer the unregulated pipelines. The areas where we're struggling to see value is the regulated utilities and the reason for that is with falling bond yields as they go through their regulatory resets they're likely to see their allowed returns fall and so the benefits of falling interest rates are actually handed back to consumers in lower prices. Can you give us some examples of regulated um, utility assets? Yeah, so Spark Infrastructure, Osnet Securities, they own um, the gas and electricity grids uh, around the country uh, and they're very good assets but as we go in a low bond rate environment the regulator will start to trim their allowed returns. Okay. The other area that we think is getting fairly expensive is uh, inner city office and also some industrial properties. So we are very selective when it comes to office. For example, suburban office looks reasonably priced, whereas some of the inner city office where a lot of the global money is chasing things is starting to get pretty uh, expensive in our opinion. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Andrew. I really appreciate when you guys come to Adelaide and we really appreciate your time. Thank you, and thank you for joining us once again.